What happened last night? I looked everywhere. Nobody's seen Doug. I don't think I've ever been this hungover. What's on your arm? You were in the hospital last night. <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen volunteered to demonstrate how a stun gun is used to subdue a suspect. Wait, Wait a second, what? what? Stop! In the face! In the face! No! The Hangover Trilogy is undoubtedly well-known if you enjoy filthy, humorous, and profane films. Very few comedies can match the comedy of these movies, and given that you are here, it is safe to assume that you are looking for films similar to The Hangover. Here's where we step in. We search the internet extensively in search of the funniest movies similar to The Hangover. You will laugh so hard you will get sick watching these movies. Just keep watching and get set for a hilarious evening. So without any further ado, let's start with our first film in this list. Horrible bosses. Oh, what about little jabs? Oh, little jabs? My boss who we're planning to kill is dying in front of you and you saved his life? Well, that sounds bad when you say it like that. We need to trim some of the fat. What do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. You can start with large Marge. Marge, can you come in here, please? What? I don't care how bad our bosses are. We're not murderers. This little sweetheart right here, my fiance, is going to get a peek at my little photo album. Horrible Bosses is a hilarious Saturday night comedy about three guys who plan to murder their obnoxious bosses and features a group of men on a mission similar to that in The Hangover. Horrible Bosses is a fantastic movie for adults to see on the weekend because it is full of action and tradition traditional slapstick American comedy. The performance is of a high caliber and features notable performers like Jamie Foxx, Colin Farrell, and Jennifer Aniston. It is really a great movie worth to watch if you enjoyed The Hangover. Due date. You're gonna travel with me to Los Angeles. I gotta give you a couple guidelines. Number one, don't ask me a single question. What's your favorite color? What age did you lose your virginity? Do you like hot dogs? I once ate a foot-long corn dog on a nude beach. rental agreements and the... Uh, well, you know what? I have coverage. <laughs> in order to reach his wife in time for the birth of their first child, Peter Hyman is on a quest. Everything goes sideways when he Ethan Tremblay. While Peter is frantically trying to reach his wife in time, having Ethan at his side cuz is his cross-country road trip to devolve into a complete mess. They encounter strange people, perilous circumstances, and their own developing relationship as they go. The chemistry between Dwayne and Zach is wonderful. This is why you must watch this film. Hall Pass. I think it would be good for us to go out one night a week where it's just you and me. I think You've it would be You've got to be kidding me. What? You just checked out that girl's butt. Do you think she noticed? What are you doing? Taking mental photographs. <laughs> I'm giving you a hall pass. A what? A what? A what? A hall pass. The Hangover and other buddy flicks have a lot in common with this Fairly Brothers production. Jenna Fisher, Christina Applegate, Owen Wilson, and Jason Sudeikis all play characters that are in monogamous relationships in the film. However, things start to spiral out of control when the women give each of their husbands a hall pass to hook up with anyone they like while on vacation. Guys, sometimes you have to exercise caution when making wishes. Next film in this list is Tag, in that it concentrates on a bunch of guys who have known each other forever. Tag is comparable to The Hangover. In fact, they have known each other for so long that they still engage in a cross-country game of tag. They do this once a year for a month, but when they get older, things become more extreme. Additionally, the game this time coincides with the wedding of the soul and beaten player. I can't talk more about this film to avoid spoilers, so add this movie to your list and don't forget to watch it as soon as possible. Hot Tub Time Machine Look, 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 what are we gonna do? You guys are terrible at quarters? Let's break into a school or uh, steal a cop car or something, huh? Do you have Ritalin? What? Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. This is a very special model that you have here. You know exactly what's going on here, don't you, old man? <laughs> Come on, it's the 80s, let's do what we want, free love! Hot Tub Time Machine. Nick is a henpeck spouse. Lou is a hopeless party animal. Lou recently got dumped, and Jacob spends all of his time in his basement playing video games. After a wild night of partying, the four friends find themselves in a odd circumstance as they go back in time. They now possess a second opportunity to live. Will they make any changes, or will they come to the conclusion that their life styles weren't all that bad. It will be a great experience to watch this masterpiece for the first time. It's one of the greatest movies of all times in this genre. Next, we have 22 Jump Street. How you bitches like Jump Street now? 
Hey. I got a big ass raise to babysit you two fuckers again. Take your thing to the next level, guys. Spring break, motherfucker. We'll be honest, the storyline of 22 Jump Street is quite similar to that of 21 Jump Street. Watching Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill in a buddy police movie is still hilarious. The dynamic couple must once more work in secret to crack a narcotics case, overcoming a challenge that could break their friendship for good. The surprise is that this time they are in college. Great film, and I highly recommend it. Bad Moms. I can't believe I'm gonna be late for my first soccer practice. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying. Well, try harder, dude. Good job. I'm so tired of trying to be this perfect mom. I'm done. I made out with so many women tonight. Guys, I really like whippets. We all work too damn hard trying to make our kids' lives amazing and magical. Their lives already are amazing and magical. Be bad moms. Oh, I'm in. To bad moms! Yeah. Amy says she's done trying to be perfect and resolves to have fun after balancing the stress of working full-time, caring for her kids and dog, and learning that her husband is cheating. The Netflix original film Bad Moms surprised me by how much I liked it. I particularly enjoy Mila Kunis as Meg from Family Guy and Katherine Hans Carla. Another key character has some pretty wonderful lines. Kristen Bell, who plays the lead in The Good Place, also appears in this film. It merits a place on the list of entertaining adult comedy because the female lead is not over the top. Ted. I wish you could really talk to me. You're my best friend, John. I love you. Big, do you? It's been four years, Johnny. You and me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. John, I look like something you give to your kid when you tell him grandma died. One of my all-time favorite movies is Ted. John Bennett wishes on Christmas morning that his new teddy bear could walk and talk, and his wish is granted. Even in his 30s, working a full-time job and consuming pot, Ted ends up being his lifelong closest buddy. This original idea developed into a hilarious script and a treasure trove of quotes, with Seth MacFarlane and Mila Kunis in the lead roles. There is two chapters of Ted. You can enjoy watching them if didn't until now. Project X. Thomas, Costa, and JB decide to throw a legendary party in order to get notoriety. They underestimated how much work the party would be, but when the evening is a complete success, it's worth it. Expectations among the students are shattered, records are broken, and a legend is created as word of the celebration spreads. Great film, and I highly recommend it. We're the Millers. I have a smidge of marijuana down in Mexico. Bring it back here by Sunday night. I will pay you $100,000. That was way out of my league. You don't have a choice. They don't get a second look, so I need you to be my wife. Kenny, meet your new sister. I've always wanted a sister. Get it off of me. We just have to dress up like a squeaky clean all-American family. In the movie We're the Millers, Jason Sudeikis plays a drug dealer who is compelled to go to Mexico in order to bring back what his boss refers to as only a smidge of marijuana after losing all of his money and stock to thieves. Since he knows he won't be able to cross the border with narcotics, he gets some of his neighbors and a local street child to join him and pose as his family. This film, which has Jennifer Aniston, one of my favorite actresses, and has many humorous moments, was really enjoyable to me. You should see this movie with your pals. Well, there you have it now. These are the movies that, in my opinion, can give you the best experience possible when you look for the hangover style films. However, we understand that 10 films might not be sufficient for you. For your viewing pleasure, I list other films that are comparable to The Hangover. You can see this list in the description below. The ones featured in the video just barely edged out these films. These should therefore be the next movies on your watch list if you've already seen all of our top selections. This is everything for this video. Let us know in the comments below if other movies can be included to this list so we make this comment section a great source of recommendation for everyone. Thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video.